and people are scrambling right now to find those special eclipse glasses, leaving a lot of us empty handed. But that wasn't the case for hundreds in Arapahoe County today. Denver 7's Amanda Del Castillo has our look at the spectacle of the spectacles. Nearly 200 people wrapped around Castlewood Library. Just decided to head out at 4.30. <laughs> And we got here first. After 10 failed attempts at getting these glasses, Joshua Elliott and his sister Tori are now ready for Monday. My luck is my kids are going to stare at the sun. <laughs> and then I'm taking them to an emergency room because I can't see. Rhiannon Cochran and her family, good to go. It's black, like pitch black. Parents Bill and Kathy Anderson have made a habit of watching these celestial events. <laughs> I cannot beat them on. Catching the 1979 eclipse and introducing their kids to Haley's Comet. Now they're all grown and gone. And they can still talk about yes. seeing Haley's Comet. And so this is going to be an exciting thing for them to have some memories of too. Memories nearly 40 years in the making. And I remember with my school class, my third grade class, going out and seeing a previous eclipse. Christy Boyle jumping at the opportunity to experience the now twice in a lifetime event. And that's a memory I have of seeing in the box the shadow of the moon coming over the sun. Library workers only had 175 pairs of the special specs to give out. I was 176. They had one extra pair, and I got it. Boyle, in turn, giving us some advice for Monday. Be in the moment. Don't try to take a photo. Just be there, experience it, watch it. Just don't look at it directly. In Arapahoe County, I'm Amanda Del Castillo, Denver 7. Seriously, it's like Black Friday in the hunt for these solar eclipse glasses. Listen to this. McGuckins in Boulder got 700 glasses this morning, and it only took them an hour to completely sell out.